Like the post and beam frame system, the roof is another important element which characterizes design of Japanese architecture. The large triangular volume of the roof with its deep overhangs makes the roof form the dominant element of the exterior composition. The deep eaves that evolved in response to the rainy climate provide a sheltered indoor-outdoor space which gives traditional houses a sense of unbroken continuity with nature, and the subtly curved profiles of the roof forms in general reflect the sensitivity of the Japanese cultural aesthetic. Traditional roofing materials originally included organic materials such as miscanthus thatch, cypress bark shingles and wooden shingles, but together with the introduction of Buddhism the techniques of clay tile roofing construction were brought from the continent. Whereas tile roofs were customarily used mainly for Buddhist temples, with Shinto shrines and aristocrats' residences continuing to use organic roofing materials, it later became common to use clay tile for general roofing application in urban areas for reasons of economy and fire prevention. For important shrines and for important residential buildings such as palace structures, however, traditional organic materials are still used. For ordinary farmhouses, where roofing work was done by local labor using locally obtained materials, thatching was still in common use until very recently. Before the introduction of architectural techniques from the continent, even in the prehistoric periods, certain construction techniques had already developed independently in Japan. Notwithstanding the strong continental influences on architectural style, the basic techniques for wood construction, including joinery techniques, usage of tools, etc. continue to evolve in a uniquely Japanese manner. Because of the critical tolerances required to produce the carefully expressed exposed post and beam composition, it was necessary for Japanese carpenters to develop their craftsmanship to a high degree of perfection. Not only the techniques but also the tools for wood carpentry were highly developed, together with an intimate knowledge of wood as a material and an appropriate sensitivity to design and proportion. The roof in Japanese architecture is composed of complex curves, the curved profile of the sloped roof plane itself combined with the upturned curves of the eave lines at the corners of the roof, requiring a sophisticated geometrical system to determine how to cut precisely the surface angles where the framing members meet. Carpenters need a highly developed knowledge of this geometry in order to connect these members exactly by working out calculations of the depth of the eave, the degree of the curve, and the shape of the cut surface of each member. 
This system is called Kiku, one of the most important subjects in the training of traditional carpenters. The Kiku system was fully developed as a system of mathematical and geometrical calculation by the latter half of the 18th century, but prior to this development actual construction had long been carried out using a practical method of measurement and line drafting using the standard carpenter's square to draw the cut lines on the surface of the lumber. Also important for designing building especially in post and beam structure was the Kiwari system, a system of modular proportioning of the overall structure, the spacing of the columns, and the proportions of each member. As a result of the adoption of this proportioning system, architectural construction became a comprehensive, unified, rationally organized industry, controlling everything down to the sizes of wooden members available in the lumber market.